Well, hi, everyone, and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, today is Friday, and it's normally a day for another Bob the Science Guy video, but I have a little confession to make. I'm back to work now, and quite frankly, I have been in the UP all week, and I haven't had access to my studio, so I haven't been able to do the video I wanted to do today, and that was going to be Russian vids and the northern and southern star trails. But that video is going to be done today when I have time and I'm off so that it'll be out on Saturday. Now that's not normally a day that I will release a video for Bob the Science Guy, but I have an obligation to you, the viewers, who come here looking for good content. So I'm going to get that content together for you and it'll just be out tomorrow. But today is a great day to take an opportunity to have a look at my other channel. So hit a subscribe and like to Bob the Science Guy and then head over to Common Sense Science. Now this is my science, health, and more serious channel, more educational channel. You know, have a look at a couple of the videos, see if you like the content. If you do, drop in a like or two and maybe subscribe to the channel. It's a brand new channel and I'm still building it and I could use a little bit of view time from you, Team Bob. Now tomorrow we're going to have Russian vids get confused about northern and southern hemispheric star trails and show us how not to use a free planetarium program that we can all get called Stellarium. I will go through Stellarium a little bit and we'll go through Russian vids video and see where he's making his mistakes. So in the meantime go have a look at Common Sense Science. I have new content there at least two days a week. Lately we've been looking at the geography of the moon. And I also release some of my older science content from Bob the Science Guy after I've remastered it and cleaned up the sound. Now, this weekend I'm going to be taking the telescope out. I finally have it set up properly so that I can actually do live streams off the telescope. So I'm going to be working with that a little bit on Friday night and probably get some material for a video on Common Sense Science for next week. The moon is starting to go out of phase right now, so we may be able to get some detail on the ocean of storms. But the other thing that I'm going to be doing with the moon out of the sky is having a look at the constellations. We'll start with the circumpolar constellations and then go to the zodiac. So I think there will be a lot of interesting things over there if you have a chance to have a look at it. Thank you again for your support of both these channels. It really means a lot to me. Those of you that are Patreons and members of this channel, I really want to especially thank you. With your help, I've been able to get a brand new computerized telescope mount, and I'm well on my way to buying an upgraded telescope. So I think once you start seeing some of the live streams that we're doing with the telescope and some of the other videos, I think you'll find that that's really a worthwhile endeavor. So, this is Bob the Science Guy, signing out from Northern Michigan. Thank you again. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Well, I can't teach them anymore. This rabbit hole's too deep for me.